Hey, one of the most asked questions I get about forward-facing sonar is how do you know what weight jig head to use? I'm gonna get into that in a minute. First, with the success of the three-inch FF sonar minnow, Yum added a four-inch version and a five-inch version. This was important because there are times when the bass will prefer a larger bait, such as late fall, early winter, they target bigger shad. So whether you're Demiki rigging on 2D sonar or scoping, the Yum FF Sonar Minnow has all the sizes covered. Now, let's get into the question. So how do we choose the right weight jig head? It's easy with forward-facing sonar because you can see the bass, see their mood, and see your lure. So what happens is, if you're scoping and you're, let's say you're scoping bass on bait balls, and the bass keep moving, and you're constantly having to chase them, and you're constantly having to redirect and scan for them. You have to go to a heavier jig head. Because what happens is if you cast out to them with a light head, by the time your lure drops to that desired depth range, the fish could be 20 feet away. So you get a nice heavy head, so when you cast it out there, it drops right on them before they move. Conversely, if the bass are more stationary, like perhaps over a brush pile or stumps or a rock pile, and they're not going anywhere, you could use a lighter jig head, cast it out, it slowly sinks, and you can feather it right over their noses and get the bites from those non-aggressive fish. Just remember, if the bass are moving, go to a heavier weight. If the bass are staying put, go to a lighter weight. For more tips and tricks, stay tuned for upcoming videos.